So often uh, people ask me, you know, why should I care about privacy? I have nothing to hide. And maybe it's true, maybe you have nothing to hide. But privacy is actually about much more than that. Because you don't really appreciate the importance of privacy until you think about the world without privacy. All your data is accessible to everybody and it's forever out there. So this means you know, who you meet, um, who you talk to, your religious views, your political leanings. Uh, in such a world, we could very easily have a 1984 situation where we have a police state that controls everything. Well, there's also the security argument. Uh, today, we do all of our business online. We use e-banking, e-commerce. In fact, most of the global economy today is online. And to secure the data, we have to use end-to-end -end encryption because we know servers will be compromised. Now, if we you know, go to a world where everything is end-to-end -end encrypted, this also gives us perfect privacy because end-to-end -end encryption means by default that the data holders don't have the ability to read that data. So I would say that you know, it's not so much about privacy, but actually about security. And when we have good security, privacy is just a consequence of that good security. ProtonMail was actually created initially by a group of scientists who met at CERN. So we were all particle physicists uh, working in Switzerland, in, actually in Geneva, on the world's largest particle accelerator. Now, if you think about encryption and physics and mathematics, the fields are actually quite closely related. Um, it requires strong mathematical knowledge and good programming skills. Now, in the summer of 2013, uh, this is when we first heard about the Edward Snowden leaks and kind of the, the way that privacy was being invaded by governments around the world. Um, and at this point, you know, myself and a group of other scientists at CERN, uh, we decided to look at this problem you know, more carefully and see if we can find a technical solution. I spent a lot of time searching online and doing research into the solutions that exist today. And what we found was a lot of these solutions were either you know, not very secure or they were so difficult to use that you couldn't get it out to the general population. Um, and ProtonMail's goal is to take secure encryption and make it accessible at the same time. Well, establishing ProtonMail in Switzerland at the beginning made a lot of sense because we were working at CERN and living in Switzerland. Um, but as a project matured and became you know, a real company, we began to realize that Switzerland actually had many advantages that you know, we hadn't thought of initially. Uh, first is you know, neutrality. Uh, this is quite important for us because as an email provider, uh, we have customers from 150 countries. And Switzerland, being neutral, can actually be a safe place to host data for people around the world. Then there's also Switzerland's laws. Uh, the privacy laws here um, are actually you know, quite strong. Um, and this is you know, a long tradition of Switzerland of protecting privacy. You know, concerning data, when we look at companies like you know, Facebook and Google, these are some of the most valuable companies in the world. And it's because of the sheer amount of data that they hold. So there is really no question anymore that data is the new gold of the 21st century. And storing this data in a secure fashion is going to become a huge industry in, in the future. And this is a big economic opportunity for Switzerland because, as you know, you know, banking secrecy no longer exists really in Switzerland. And if we transition from banking secrecy um, to data security, well, this is actually a very natural evolution for Switzerland and I think one that will bring many economic benefits.